foot in there, you big cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, John. Well done, Loki. Oh, that's a 140. <laughs> oh, you know. You know you've caught some barrel when you start pulling him in the boat. <laughs> pulling him in. Oh, there we go. G'day guys, it's Bernie here with Fish and Boat Magazine. Uh, the daughter thinks it's, it's, um, it's funny to have the camera recording, but anyway. So, exciting day today, really excited. Got them new boat feels. So, what we're doing today is we're going to go and pick up a brand new boat. Um, the story goes that we were going to get a second hand boat, and the money that we were going to put into a second hand boat, um, the lads over at Rife and Marine were able to hook us up. Uh, with a brand new -y. so we're going to go and have a look what it is and uh, yeah, have a look through it, exciting, let's do it. Right, we're here, still excited. Uh, I found this in the bottom of the car, which has obviously come from the kids' school, but check this out. Rightio, zones of regulation, let's have a look, where are we, blue zone, sad, sick, tired, god no. We red, we mad, angry. <laughs> My daughter won't stop laughing in the back. We are definitely, <laughs> definitely in the green zone right here. New boat, dad's real happy. Green zone, let's do it. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Hey, there you go. Yeah, good. There you go, mate. I didn't get your hand in properly. Give me another one. Wooshka. <laughs> Wooshka. Oh, How are you, mate? good man. Good. Ready Got to pick it. Rig. Oh, ready to pick it up. I know. Seem excited. Shaking. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Exciting times. Fishing there for you. Already. Yeah. yeah. Oh. A couple of female crabs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it, eh? Yeah, we can do it. I'll get Jaden. They'll come and give you a walk through with the engine. Legend. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Alright, we're going to have a quick look through the uh, the engine spec. So we've got a 115 Pro XS on the back of our Stacer uh, Assault Pro. Uh, Jaden's an expert on this. Yeah, 2IC I believe. Uh, 2IC. Apparently. No worry, we won't tell, <laughs> we won't tell Jared. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's have a little look. Yeah, it's a quick overview, that's what it looks like. Pretty good looking if you ask me. All iron alloys, no corrosion, lightest, biggest displacement. Um, rev out to 6.3. So with that prop we've got on now, we've got a 19 Inertia Eco. Um, it hits limiter, but once John puts his batteries and stuff in, it's, it'll be fine and maintain its top speed of about 80k an hour. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Which is what couldn't. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. Lightest one on five in its class. 2.1 litre block. Um, low end torque, obviously 2.1 litre engine. Um, with the CT box as well, it's a large range of props, more torque, more performance, more everything. Um, yeah, just the class leaders and everything. Unreal. So many years ago, they talked about Mercury being the black anchors, and um, I think they've well and truly thrown, you know, that sort of um, branding in the bin, like the, the new Mercs. Yeah, they look good. I'm no mechanic, but I love it. You love exactly what he's talking about. So, and it's on the new boat. So, and yeah, make sure the, you look. Um, they got it. the scroll intake, big intake, um, maintenance-free belt train. So, and obviously Suzuki's, Yamaha's, all that sort of stuff. Got a the shim and bucket. Um, no more valve adjustments. So, never touch them. With yeah, the valve adjustments. So, never have to touch them again. Um, like I said, the CT box, two point three eight 
to one. Um, gives you that out of the hole and allows you to swing a bigger prop as well for the performance. Um, engine mounts. These have stiffer engine mounts, so it helps with performance at the top speeds, higher speeds, you know. Um, they also sound a little, bit, a little bit better as well, a little bit louder, a little bit nicer on the ears. Um, awesome. All right, and that's a pretty good rundown. Anything else that stands out? Um, yeah, we've got the Smartcraft uh, gauge in it, just a single taco. You've got the, your fuel burn, your fuel level, taco, speed, whatever you want to know, all on a single round gauge. So it's very versatile, which is real good. Bloody awesome. Um, look at this. This is a weapon of a bloody, uh, of a setup. Do you call of duty or anything anything cool on this? <laughs> I wish I'd be able to Nothing but a halo? Yeah. <laughs> Just the good stuff. All the good stuff, mate. Mercury. All right, let's go and have a look over the boat. Just going to go for a quick walk around. First of all, the uh, Mercury Pro XS 115 that we just talked about. That is a sexy bit of gear. And like Jaden said, yeah, they've done a, a trial on this boat, which is the Salt Pro, Stacer Assault Pro 509. I took it down and gave it a run, just with one person and no gear in it. And they reckon they got 80k an hour out of it, which is which is awesome. This is basically one of the reasons why I bought it, to do a little bit of speed. Um, yeah, let's keep going. So, look down the sides. Pretty sexy. A little bit of a different style hull, which is cool. And look at this trailer. The trailer's just, it's an alloy trailer. So, rust is definitely going to be at a minimum. Got high beam on the outside. Awesome. On and off the trailer really well, and it's a drive on, drive off trailer, which is what we want. Unreal. From the front. Alright, let's have a look through it. All right, guys. For the uh, for the walkthrough, we're just going to do something a little bit different today, and we're actually going to do the walkthrough uh, while we're out on the water. So we'll start at the bow, and we'll uh, we'll make our way to the stern. We'll just go through a few little uh, few little um, improvements that we made along the way, and Rifle Marine have helped us out a lot with this. So uh, big thanks to Brent Jarrett and the team over there. So all right, let's get into it. All righto. Right up the front here, so we've got our uh, Minn Kota Altera 24 volt, uh, 80 pound, and so what we got them to do was actually fabricate um, a bracket for this to sit on, which is this one here. Um, so we've just pretty much sickered that down and then uh, bolted the quick release bracket underneath onto it. Um, and then so we've got this bit of the bracket that sits out here because I wanted I wanted somewhere to mount um, some lights because I do a um, a bit of uh, nighttime traveling so we've got a couple of lights a couple of cool lights mounted up there all right here you go big man Good. yeah gonna be on YouTube yeah all right so that's cool uh, yeah we got a little Minn Kota, uh stabilizer uh, for our Minn Kota, which is um, which is awesome all right so just the anchor well I don't use the I don't really use the anchor much so we've just got um, still got a little bit of tidying up to do in here it's not definitely not finished and I've got some wiring run through here so we're gonna have um, things like three uh, 360s um, another another unit up the front here as well so I wanted all the wiring to run through the 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 anchor well so when I'm not using it I can um, pack it all up into the anchor well so you can't see it so it keeps the um keeps the deck nice and tidy is this my boat or your boat mine no it's mine no it's mine <laughs> so braxy lets me use his boat every now and then don't you mm -hmm. all right hey what was the um what was the first fish that you caught in this boat Barra. what size can you remember what size it was i think it was like that big was it 74 centimeters yeah, I think it was. Was it in the Fitzroy River? No, I think it was here. No, nah, that was in the Fitzroy. Remember? 
in the new boat. No, I did. I don't. Oh, he's caught. That. He's caught that many barry. Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. All right, what's next? So, storage, storage for days in this thing. Lift him up. Lift him up, Bratsy. So yeah, you got a bit of a uh, bit of gear in there and a tackle bag. And then we'll lift this other one up here. No, we'll lift this, this side one up. How about that? All right, we'll lift this one up. And some life jackets and room for days in there. All right, so next thing I want to talk about is uh, power for the electric motor. So we are running uh, one of the BLA lithium batteries. So this is a 50 amp uh, lithium battery, 24 volt. And we've also got our master volt mac plus dc charger there as well so um the 50 amp with the dc charger is is good it's um it's spot on if you do the uh the style of fishing that i do which is in the salt so we're running and gunning a lot uh, which means so that dc charger actually punches in about 20 amps when it's running so the 50 amp uh battery um so if you left that on if you're running around for two hours it'd nearly be fully charged again so well worth the investment if you're going to go the 50 amp if you're going to do things like maybe um some impoundment fishing or fishing where you're stationary a lot then i would probably look at the 100 amp hour and then you probably wouldn't need a um a dc charger for that either but it'd be definitely handy to have to be <laughs> you're right <laughs> he just wants to get in the camera yeah, so it'll be definitely handy to have. So uh, those are your, those are your options, and like I've had this for a few months now, and, and absolutely love it. So um, even when you're home and you put the 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 main charger on it, it's it's fully charged in about you know two, in that two two and a half hours. So all right, ready to go the next day. Um, what else can we talk about there, Braxy? Um, oh, and they're light. Those lithium batteries, I think they're about twelve kilos. You know, just one one twelve volt. Uh, AGM is probably I don't know 20 30 kilos you know what I mean so we've we've gotten rid of a lot of lot of weight out of the boat are you trying to close me in here yeah. <laughs> you're a little rabbit all right so yeah so that's the the BLA lithium and the master bolt Mac plus let's uh let's keep going there's enough there's enough storage in this in this boat uh, in the Stacer Assault Pro that Braxy can actually get in there and army crawl from one side to the other, which he loves doing. All right, we're gonna talk about the live well now. So that's a big live well, and I, um, you know, I've been doing a lot more live baiting now with the kids, uh, and they bloody love it. And yeah, I'm not sure how many liters it is, but it's bloody massive. Um, I actually had uh, Braxy and one of his friends, Kai, in the boat one day and the fishing was slow and they wanted to go for a swim and I'm like you can't go for a swim because there's crocs and there's sharks so the uh the um compromise was uh, I turned the I turned this on and filled it up and the boys actually got in here and uh and had a had a swim like their own little spa didn't you did you enjoy it yeah I'll just show you a little bit of that footage now just to show you how big this live well is What are you doing? Are you having a bath? Yeah. Let's go in. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing's boring. <laughs> Can I run that one? But he's in a in a live well. That's where the live bait goes. Yeah. Not the kids. I actually on my butt wet. <laughs> These are funny sausages. What a pair of rat bags, eh? All right, I'll keep going. Shut him up, Braxy. All right, so I've added a few little just rod, you know, rod straps um, around the place. So run, run a couple of rods down here, run a few rods back that way, and there's another one over there. I can run, you know, a few rods from that way, so you can put them wherever you want. Um, yep. And once again, on this side, more, more heaps, more storage, and that's just my electrics battery that I've got there. So, all right. Can we do some fishing now, Dad? Very soon, buddy. Very soon. All right, so we'll go into the cockpit. 
Uh, we got the uh, Hummerbird Helix 12 G3 there. So in behind here, you can see, so that is now solid. Um, and there's a little, and there's a little platform for the, um, for the sounder to sit on. So Rife and Marine knocked this up, so that was actually plastic. And I didn't want to put a, an arm, like a, a rear mount on this side or a rear mount on that side because this side will get, it'll get in the way for people walking through. And the other side's hanging out over, over the water and a couple lot of spray. So this is what we come up with and it, and it works. It works really well and Rifen did an amazing job on that. So this down here, it's got another switch panel and this is a dual pole isolator. So I've got, um, got this isolating the electrics battery up front and also the DC charger so I can turn that turn that off uh, when I don't want to when I don't want to use it the, the captain's in his, in his almost in his chair there Here the captain <laughs> yeah all right so this here fold him up I didn't think I would actually use this but I bloody I absolutely love it so you can see the little little stabilizer legs here so we'll put it up put that other one up and we'll fold him over. Come on, muscles. Beautiful. And that's now a, a nice casting deck. We we'll jump up the front here and we can when we hook when we've hooked fish, we will jump from you know the front to the back and, and run around the boat. Like this thing is an absolute weapon to fish out of. So much casting room, you know, like everything's got storage, so everything's under the floor except for the obviously the landing net and the rods on the on the front there, on the top. But so much room and that little that little gem there is it is gold. Alright, so we'll just put that down, Braxy, we'll get there in a minute. No, I don't. I'm gonna put this put that up. Alright, fold them down. And now we've got the seat. So the skipper's seat is adjustable, it can go back and forward. I've got big long legs, so mine's all the way back. But they are super comfy. Cup holders, always good for a beverage or two. And they've got a couple over there and yeah now we'll have a look in the back put him down yeah all right so out the back here and once again Matt, big more massive casting decks more room heaps more room in there yeah, i'll leave that one down mate Oh, that one, that one can uh, actually come up. Like Braxy was showing us, you can get on the back there and have a have a poo or something like that if you need to. <laughs> well, don't fall out. Do you like that one? All right, so we've got storage, and then over the other side we've got the battery, uh, the crank battery, and all that sort of stuff. So heaps and heaps of room, and like I said, I bloody absolutely love this boat. Right, I almost forgot one of the most important things and that's the motor. So we have a Mercury Pro XS 115. So that's running there at the moment and you can hardly hear it. That is awesome. And it's been it's been amazing. So we get about, oh, when I very first got it, um, yeah, it is, so it is quite in it, mate. So when I first got it, it we're getting around about 80K an hour out of it, but that's with nothing in it and there's just a couple of people. So now we put electric motors and batteries and all that sort of stuff. We're still sort of getting around that mid 70 kilometers an hour wide up and throttle with the 115 Mercury Pro XS. But oh man, it's been it's been absolutely amazing. And like I said, there it's running there at the moment, and here you can hear how quiet it is. Good motor. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Absolutely. Good so there's all the awesome things that we love about it and, and the little adjustments that we've made and we'll talk about the the, the cons so to speak um the first one is i think the where you put your your fuel in so they put that on the driver's side which i think you know could have went on could have went on the watch out Braxy. watch out Braxy. so that could have went on the other side so if you overfill overfill your fuel it's going to run down all over your over your um, control box and everything which i don't really like about that um and it actually the, the filler inside there actually got in the way for trying to put in you know install the control box and all that sort of stuff so if they put that on the on the passenger side would have been a lot better and the other thing one other thing i don't really like is with the design of the hull 
So if it gets choppy, um, when you when you hit a wave or you hit that chop, it actually blows the spray forward and then it sort of comes up, comes back up and over. So essentially, it's, it's a wet boat. So, but if you don't mind getting wet, then then it's all right. Or if you're sticking to nice flat creeks and rivers, you won't have a problem. But as soon as you go outside and you get a little bit of swell and chop, yeah, it will kick up a bit of spray. So keep that in mind. But uh, those are the two only two only things I think I can think of that um, we don't really well it's not that we don't really like them it's just yeah they could have been improved a little bit I believe so but anyway Stacer Assault Pro 509 excellent we should uh, hey do you want to go for uh, do you want to go for a fish now yes yeah we're gonna go for a fish so yeah catch us next episode say bye 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 bye